hi and welcome to this uh, section of the playlist so in this video you are going to uh, we're going to talk about um, setting up the models.py file in our app folder so the models are uh, we are going to be collecting a few fields in the models so the first field we are going to collect is the name of the actual to do um, item like buy groceries for next week and then we're also going to be I'm um, taking in the status of the to-do item that is we're going to take notes whether the task has been completed or whether the task has been um it, whether the task has been completed or whether it's still in progress so right here we're going to write some code when we're doing the models we're going to write some code that's going to enable us to mark a mark an item as finished or delete an item so let's start and get right into the models.py file so I want you to go to your models.py file inside your app folder. Now, basically, whatever we write inside our models.py file is going to determine what rows and tables we have in our database. So we're going to create um, a new model. I'm going to name it um, to do and then open parentheses and we'll pass in uh, models.model and we'll put a colon here and after doing that we're going to create our first um item here and it's going to be the name of the that is the name of this to do item so we're going to put name is equal to models dot char field and inside here we're going to pass in a uh, max length equal um let's put i don't know five thousand or max length equals one thousand and we need to put another um create another table inside this um our model i'm going to say um status status i'm going to we're going to equate that to a models the boolean field so we'll say models dot boolean field so basically a boolean field only has two um inputs can only have two inputs whether true or false if it is true it means the task has been completed but it's, if it is false it means the task is still in progress so we're going to say models of boolean field i'm going to pass in a default of false so once we've done that we just need to uh put this okay one thing that we need to do also is we need to um pass in um the user that is whoever is creating this um to-do list item because our website is going to be a multi-user website that is anybody can come to this website register and create uh, an actual to-do list um an, an actual to-do item so what we need to do is at the top we need to say from django dot country dot auth dot models import import user so what you now need to do right here is i am what you need to do oh sorry import user so what you need to do right here you need to create a foreign key to this particular user model so basically what the foreign key does is that is connects two models together so they form a relationship now what we are going to do right here is we are going to say user is equals to uh, models dot foreign key and uh inside this parenthesis we are going to pass in user and then we're going to say on delete equals models does cascade now what does this on delete equals models or cascade do so what it basically means is that if this user ever gets deleted from the database we also want to go into this um we also want you to go into the database and delete everything every to-do item that the user has created so basically what's in what i mean is that if um for example a user deletes his account all the to-do items that he has ever created in the uh, that he has ever created is going to be deleted from the database so the last thing we need to do is we need to say def underscore str you know underscore um donda sorry def donda str donda and then we're going to pass in self here and we're going to say return self self dot um dot name let's name this to to do name 
So we're going to say self dot to do underscore name. T U R return self dot to do underscore name. Now anytime you create a new um anytime you create a new model on your models of pi, you need to uh, make migrations and migrate so that these tables can actually be so that these tables can actually be created in the database. So we're going to go to um our terminal. We're going to break out of this terminal of the um so we're going to break out of the um server of the live server and we're going to run python manage.py make migrations and then um once we run that you can see um create model to do and the next thing we need to say is python manage.py migrate so this is going to migrate and save these changes in the database so next next thing we need to do is run our server python manage.py run server so our server is running now and it's live so what the next thing we need to do is um we need to register this model in our admin.py file so that we can actually see this model in our um, admin dashboard django admin dashboard if we go back to the dashboard right now and we reload we can see there is no uh, model displayed right here let me zoom in but once we uh come to our admin.py file we can say from django dot models from django dot models imports sorry not django dot models from dot models imports um imports to do now the next thing we need to say is admin dot site dot register and basically basically we are trying to register so we'll say uh admin dot site dot register and inside here we're going to pass in um to do so once we do that we just need to save it go back to um the browser and then reload now once we reload you can see we have um something right here named to do's and once we open it we can see we have zero to do's so basically we've been able to um take these modules that we just created and register it in the uh, our admin.py file so that they can be displayed here and we can just add a to do um item here we can the user is going to be um obviously admin because admin is currently logged in and then to do we can i can create a new to do and say um make a new youtube video and then um i'm going to save this and then once we click it we can see so basically this is a model that we have right here but what we actually now want to do is we want the user to be able to create this model that is a new to do from the front end which is here so what we need to do right now is we need to go to the front end that is the template to do just html and we need to start editing uh we need to start editing the um file to suit our um to suit our task so basically this is a simple form we have here whatever you type in here can be um, added as a task so what we need to do is we need to go to this to do the html file and we need to scroll down or scroll up and look at where we have that form that is this input tag right here now once we've located it we need to give it uh, a method of post because we want to send that data to the back end so i'm going to say method sorry okay method is already here i'm going to give it a method of posts and then don't forget we need to add csrf token so we're going to come here and say uh, csrf underscore token and then we're going to save it we also need to take notes and check if uh this has been given a name tag and no it hasn't been given a name tag so we're going to come here and give it a name attribute i mean and we're going to say um task i'm going to give it a name of task and then basically that is all we need to do for now so in the back end we need to go to the views.py and we need to scroll to that view which is here 
so uh we need to write some code and check for what uh method is coming in as usual so we're going to say if request dot method is equal to post is equal to post colon then what we now need to do is we need to import this particular model that we created to do so we're going to come to our views of pi and say from dot from dot models import to do and here we're going to say if request on method is equal to post we now need to grab whatever the person has imputed from the front end so we are simply going to say um so oh, what should we name this variable we name it task is equal to request dot post dot get and inside parenthesis here we're passing task why because we gave it um a name attribute of task right here so let's close the admin pipe so once we've done that what we now need to do is we need to actually take what this person has imputed and save it to the database that is save it to uh this model so that it can be saved in the database so what we're going to do is we're going to say um create a new variable and say new to do is equal to uh and we're going to now call this to do model right here and we're going to pass in um some variables if we go back to our models.py we see this model consists of three fields user to do name and status so what we simply need to do is we need to pass in the first thing we need to pass in is the user because here we put in user so we're going to say user is equal to request dot user that is what we're currently trying to what we're trying to say is that the user that is the creator of this particular to do item is the current logged in user. So to, to get the current logged in user, we say request or user. So once we say request or user, it's going to give us the current logged in user or that is currently um, logged in on the website. So we're going to say user is equal to request or user. And the next thing we need to pass in is to do name. So we're going to say uh, to do name is equal to task and then we don't need to pass in uh status because we're already giving it here uh we're giving it a default to be false so that means every to do item that is created will always have a status of um let's check it will always have a status of in progress because we have given it a default of false so what the next thing we need to do is we now need to say new to do dot save and once we call that dot save uh and we save this if we go back to our front end and just refresh let's refresh uh is our server running let's check to see if the server is running okay it's still reloading uh i don't know why it's taking time let me just run it again Python manage just py run server. Okay. Um, so once our server is running, let's reload this page again and let's try to add a new task. So let's say um let's create a new task. I'm going to name it um upload video tomorrow. And once I hit add task. We can see the page loaded, but we didn't, we don't know if anything happened. What we need to do is we need to now go to the admin dashboard and go to to do's right here and check. And we can see what we entered from the front end is uh has been saved in the in the um database. So once we click this, we can see that the user was the current logged in was the current logged in user that typed it, which was admin. And then we can see the to do name is upload upload video tomorrow and the status is um false so let's just create something else let's say um post to do websites on Kyoko. so uh once we add task and we come back to the dashboard we can see host to do website on Kyoko has been added to the um to the dashboard so uh that is all for to for this video guys uh, in the next video, we're going to talk about how to actually get 
the data from the um, back end all this data and display it in the front end so basically anytime a user is logged in and get redirected to the home page they are going to only be able to see whatever tasks that they have created so thank you for watching this video guys if you like seeing content like this please don't forget to like share subscribe and come back for more videos thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video